Okay, ladies and gents, one minute remaining, and we're going to get this thing started. Look at that. We're more than 5,000 of us here. Thank you for joining us here on time. D. Sean here, as always, one of your favorite hosts, or maybe not so much, but there's no choice. Regarding the trivia itself, of course, free of charge as long as you're here on time. Get enough of those statements right. You get prize pool. General knowledge test, so we're not diving too much into that football-related trivia stuff. General knowledge test, 10 statements in order to get the prize pool. 7 out of 10 already gets you there, so even if you make one, two, tops three mistakes still get to the end. Might as well learn something new along the way. And if you qualify, well, the price will sell two thousand dollars as golden chips and hard cash shared across all the wise and witty winners out there who have managed to pass the gauntlet and get through the sea. Nice seeing out there, folks. Oh, we got some friendly Greeks out there as well. Nice see there. All right, ladies and gents, hopefully you're having thanking hats on. We're about 10 seconds away before the rubber meets the road, so let's get to it. Yes, Spanolis needs extra work. What can I say? What can I say? And for Brazilians, Brazil, I suppose. All right, that's it for now. Let's begin. First statement as follows. Billy Eilish recorded the theme for the movie No Time to Die. So, Billy Eilish, did she record the theme for the movie No Time to Die? True or false? I do believe that one was one of the Bond movies out there. Should be, right? Well, quickly make your statement. Check on the screen which one this one. This one's absolutely true. Was kind of news for me as well, but seems like two-thirds of you got some right. Keep in mind, you only need seven out of ten to qualify, so finish the trivia all in all. Let's keep moving on with the second one. Let's see if there's more softballs. Vatican City is wholly within the city of Rome. True or false? Now, Vatican City, I suppose the name should ring a bell wherever you are, more or less. I think everybody out there has heard about that one. Vatican City, yay or nay? Is it in Rome? Well then, I think this is a softball. True, ladies and gentlemen, seems like this one was a little bit easier statement than the one before. Seems like this one's gonna be too easy, but let's see, maybe it ramps up along the way. Let's keep moving on, our third statement out there. So let's see what's in store for us. Good luck out there, ladies and gents. Let's keep moving. Greco-Roman is a style of swimming. True or false? Now, Greeks, Romans, Italians out there, chirp up. Well, Greco-Roman definitely rings a bell, but is it in connection with swimming? I don't know, maybe Greeks are like amazing swimmers. Same name, right? Well, false. Greco-Roman, Roman style of fighting, grappling and stuff like that. Seems like this one was the easiest of them all, ladies and gents. Well done. Let's keep moving on. Let's see how many will make it to the finish line and then qualify for the prize pool. Fault one. Let's go. The smoked meat called pastrami originates in Romania. True or false? Now, which way? Smoked meat called pastrami. Actually, kind of delicious one, but did it originate and did it really come from Romanians? I do know a lot of good things come from Romania, especially Vlad Tepes. And this one's true. A lot of you out there probably went to Italy or something like that, but no. Uh, one third of you got some right. Keep in mind, you can make up to three mistakes and still qualify. So we're pretty much halfway through. Fifth statement. Let's do it. Tortilla española is made using potatoes and eggs. True or false? So we're checking a little bit of our cuisine around the globe. Tortilla española. Tortilla is definitely familiar. Eden, I do not know if I have ever had tortilla española, but if these are the ingredients, shouldn't be too difficult to, well, replicate. This one's true. There's just one more ingredient we can add to that. Usually there's also some onions included as well to make the whole taste a little bit more nicer. Well, have you got some right? Let's keep moving. Only have the statements remaining. Six one. Let's keep moving. So, the comedy series Glow is about the world of women's wrestling. True or false? Glow. So this one happened a couple of years ago. I do believe it was a Netflix series. But was it about women's wrestling? Absolutely no clue. Not in UFC. Well, definitely have checking a little bit of UFC, a level of WWE. But it seems like this one is true. As hilarious as it is, but unfortunately, the series got cancelled. Can't move my finger up on why. But let's keep moving on. Four more statements. Let's see. Going. All right, some good answers there, Chad. All right, moving on. The Channel Tunnel opened in 1994. True or false? So the Channel Tunnel, the one under the sea connecting two countries, I presume. But was it opened in 1994? Just about 30 years ago. Boy, okay, kind of fresh. 
All right, true or false, made your choice. Click on screen regarding this one. Absolutely true. I do believe it was the 6th of May, 1994, when it was opened completely, and you could drive through and connect the countries. Seems like only half of God's right. Now, let's keep going. Three more statements remaining out there. Stay with me. Here we go. There are eight members in Italian rock band called Mainskin. True or false? If I wouldn't know it's Italian rock band, I would probably go with some of the Nordners because Nordners are really passionate about their metal and rock. But uh, Mainskin? Mm, legends, maybe you have heard it. Uh, otherwise, 50-50 chance continue. Regarding this one, false. Not eight, but just four, as it works out with a basic for guitar, for vocalist, and for other things as well out there drums as well. Well, the penultimate statement. Let's get this done and done and move on to the prize pool finally. So, what's in store? Rhodes is the largest of the Dodecanese islands in Greece. True or false? Now, I do believe we have plenty of Greeks out there. Dodecanese islands of Greece. That's an impressive name out there. Rhodes one of the biggest ones out there, but is it the largest? 50-50 chance to get this one right if you don't know. True, it is the largest. Seems like, uh, well, majority of you got this one right. Pretty good, nice to see that there's definitely some Greeks out there. I did see some folks mentioning out there, Corfu and other islands are there before we forget this one. Well, then final one. Good luck, here we go. Missouri has borders with eight other states. True or false? So a little bit of geography check from the other side of the ocean regarding states. Not asking how many states there are and which is the biggest, the smallest one, but still a kind of peculiar question statement not a question per se got this one right well this one's true maximum is eight and missouri definitely checks out seems like only half you've got this one right well but the good news ladies and gentlemen 227 of you 6,000 managed to get 10 out of 10 right chip on your shoulder that is definitely a not a double digit people out there who managed to get some right but qualifying for the prize pool 3004 managed to do so and splitting the prize pool in golden chips and hard cash right now of course ladies and gentlemen if you're eager to participate and have more fun with extra games there should be like in front of me sending you to other places in space and time but that's it for me tonight wish you all the best and i'll catch you some other times in other futures tools now cheers